Today, we're diving into the most pervasive myths surrounding electric vehicles, particularly Teslas. In this video, I'll be debunking seven Tesla myths that have been circulating for quite some time. I'll separate the fact from the fiction and give you the real scoop. So sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. Myth number one, EVs catch on fire frequently. Let's start with the facts. A comprehensive investigation conducted by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, has shed light on the actual frequency and severity of fires and explosions in lithium-ion battery systems. The results are enlightening. Contrary to the popular belief, NHTSA's study revealed that electric vehicles have significantly fewer fires and explosions compared to their gasoline or diesel-powered counterparts. In fact, Teslas in particular have achieved the lowest overall probability of injury ever tested by the U.S. government's new car assessment program. How is this possible? Well, the secret lies within the design and engineering of Tesla's battery packs. These packs are housed within a rigid and fortified structure mounted to the vehicle's floor providing exceptional strength and stability. This robust construction contributes to large crumple zones and a remarkably low center of gravity, enhancing overall vehicle safety. Due to their inherent strength, Tesla's battery packs rarely sustain serious damage in accidents. And even in the highly unlikely event of a fire, the battery packs are equipped with an advanced safety system that effectively isolates the fire to specific areas within the battery. Simultaneously, the system vents heat away from the passenger cabin and the vehicle, minimizing the risk to occupants. What about the actual statistics? Well, according to Tesla's own impact report, their vehicles are approximately 11 times less likely to catch fire compared to non-Tesla vehicles. Let that sink in for a moment. To put it in perspective, when considering the number of fires per distance traveled, Teslas have at around 5 fires per 1 billion miles traveled. In contrast, data from the National Fire Protection Association NFPA, and the U.S. Department of Transportation indicates that traditional gasoline vehicles experience an average of 53 fires per 1 1 billion miles traveled in the United States. Now let's break that down further. Looking at the number of fires per car, not just per billion miles traveled, we find that there has been approximately one Tesla vehicle fire for every 210 million miles traveled. In comparison, the NFPA reports the national average for vehicle fires is one fire per 19 million miles traveled. These statistics challenge the prevailing misconception that electric vehicles are more prone to catching fire. The evidence clearly shows that Teslas, in particular, have had an excellent track record when it comes to fire safety. Myth number two, EVs pollute as much or more than gasoline and diesel cars. It's crucial to understand that electric vehicles have no tailpipe emissions. However, the carbon pollution associated with EVs lies in the generation of electricity used to charge them. The extent of this pollution varies widely depending on the source of a local power grid. Research has shown that even when accounting for the emissions from electricity generation, EVs are typically responsible for lower levels of greenhouse gases compared to a gas or diesel car. This is primarily due to the efficiency of the electric motors, which convert over 85% of the chemical energy from the batteries into powering the wheels. In contrast, internal combustion engines can convert only about 20% of the energy stored. But what about the electricity generation itself? If your state heavily relies on fossil fuels like coal or natural gas, there may be carbon emissions associated with charging your EV. However, it's important to know that even in such cases, EVs remain more efficient and less polluting than their gasoline counterparts from the same state. In fact, as a shift toward renewable energy sources such as wind and solar continues, the greenhouse gas emissions associated with EVs can be even lower. To help estimate the greenhouse gas emissions tied to charging and driving an EV, the EPA and Department of Energy have developed a Beyond Tailpipe Emissions Calculator. By selecting your EV model and entering your zip code, you can compare the CO2 emissions with those of a gasoline car in your area. Additionally, while some studies suggest that manufacturing an EV may produce more carbon pollution compared to a gas car, this is offset by the vehicle's lifetime emissions. Over its operational lifespan, including manufacturing, charging, and driving, an EV's total greenhouse gas emissions are lower than those of a gasoline and diesel car. Now let's quickly address the mining controversy, notably the controversy surrounding cobalt and battery metals. While mining has ecological consequences, it's important to distinguish between the mining of battery materials and the drilling of oil. The fossil fuels we've burned since the 1850s have led to harmful emissions and increased atmospheric carbon concentrations. On the other hand, the minerals used in EV batteries, such as lithium and cobalt, are reusable and can power a car thousands of times before their capacity diminishes. Recognizing the need for ethical sourcing, major players in the auto industry, including Tesla, are taking steps to ensure responsible mining practices. 
Tesla has made significant strides in utilizing cobalt-free LFP batteries in nearly half of their vehicles, while the other battery packs are primarily nickel-based with only a small amount of cobalt used as a binder. Moreover, during the 2023 annual shareholder meeting, Elon announced plans for a third-party audit on their suppliers. This commitment shows Tesla's dedication to ensuring responsible sourcing practices, which is a positive step forward for the industry as a whole. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and tick that notification bell for more content like this in the future. And real quick, if you did not know already, Tesla has reintroduced its referral program, and it's better than ever before. If you're about to place an order for a Tesla, be sure to use my referral link in the description below to get credits on your purchase. These credits can be redeemed for supercharging miles, a Cybertruck raffle, FSD, Tesla merch, and many more things. Myth number three, EV batteries have a short lifespan and are expensive to replace. One of the concerns often raised is the cost of replacing an electric vehicle battery. For example, estimates for replacing the battery pack in the Tesla Model Y range between $11,000 to $13,000, with some estimates even reaching $15,000. While these numbers may seem significant, it's crucial to consider the warranties and the lifespan of the batteries. All Teslas come with impressive warranties. The bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty is 4 years, 50,000 miles. The Model Y has an impressive 8-year, 120,000-mile battery and drive unit warranty. These warranties provide a peace of mind and significantly reduce likelihood of incurring out-of-pocket expenses for battery replacements during the covered periods. Keep in mind that these warranties cover the repair or replacements necessary to correct defects in materials or workmanship of any parts manufactured or supplied by Tesla. In Tesla's impact report, they stated that the batteries are designed to last the life of the vehicle, so replacing them are few and far between. But what about the lifespan of Tesla batteries itself? In 2019, Elon stated that the current generation of Tesla batteries can last for an impressive range of 300,000 to 500,000 miles. To put it in perspective, based on regular driving mileage, this translates to approximately 22 to 37 years of usage. Elon has even hinted at the development of a million mile battery. At this point, the battery will outlast the entire car itself. Now if you do need a battery pack replacement, it's not like your current battery pack's value will drop to zero overnight. And this brings me to the fourth myth. Myth number four, EV batteries are bad for the environment. It's often assumed that the recycling of electric vehicle batteries will pose significant challenges and have negative environmental impacts. However, the reality is far from this misconception. In fact, electric car batteries have second and third lives that extend well beyond their initial automotive use. To begin with, as electric vehicles have become more prevalent, the demand for energy storage in buildings and other applications is on the rise. This creates a market for used battery packs, which can be repurposed for energy storage. People and businesses are increasingly purchasing these packs, and some car makers are even venturing into the energy storage business themselves. This reutilization extends the lifespan of the batteries, maximizing their value and minimizing their waste. Moreover, when electric vehicle batteries finally reach the end of their usable life, the recycling process is similar to that of dead hybrid batteries. One notable example is the lead acid starter battery, which is widely regarded as one of the most recycled consumer goods worldwide. Unlike EV batteries, the lead content in starter batteries makes them highly toxic. However, the recycling efficiency of EV batteries is impressive. Tesla, for instance, boasts a remarkable 95% recovery rate in the recycling of end-of-life batteries. This means that 95% of the materials used in the batteries can be extracted and reused. EV batteries have long lives and can be repurposed several times before finally being recycled. Now here's the explanation. The answer is actually in three parts. First, EV batteries do not die when they reach the end of their vehicle service life. They can be disassembled and the best cells reassembled and sold as reconditioned vehicle battery packs. Second, cells that are still okay, but still not fit for vehicle use can be repurposed into battery storage systems and have another 8 to 15 years of life. And third, when a cell does reach the end of its life, the latest developments in cell design and component extraction enable at least 95% of the battery to be recycled. Myth number five, EVs will collapse the grid. The notion that electric vehicles will overwhelm the grid with an enormous surge in electricity demand is largely unfounded. Studies conducted worldwide reveal that grids are well equipped to handle the growing demand of EVs. In fact, it has been estimated that a 100% EV fleet would only add around 10% to the overall electricity demand. Supply authorities across the globe have stated their readiness to accommodate the increasing demand for EVs. They are actively planning for necessary additions and modifications to the power grid as EV adoption continues to grow. These proactive measures ensure that any local area changes to the grid and its management can be implemented in a timely manner well before they are required. Furthermore, the controlled charging capabilities of EVs plays a vital role in managing the grid impact. 
by selectively demand managing EV charging, such as opting for slower rates or utilizing off-peak hours, the strain on the grid can be minimized. This approach ensures that the electricity demand from a full EV fleet remains manageable and adds only a modest 10% to the overall grid load. It's important to note that most electric car owners charge their vehicles overnight, similar to charging our mobile phones. This overnight charging pattern is beneficial for electric utilities as it helps stabilize power demand during off-peak hours. In fact, electric utilities welcome this added usage as it optimizes their power distribution and utilization. Myth number six, EVs do not have enough range and take too long to recharge. Range anxiety has been a lingering concern among potential electric vehicle owners. However, it's essential to understand that this anxiety is largely based on outdated assumptions. The perception that EVs cannot be driven long distances due to a lack of charging infrastructure is simply inaccurate. While it's true that gas stations are abundant for traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, the number of charging stations for EVs has been steadily increasing. Tesla in particular has been at the forefront establishing a robust network of supercharging stations worldwide. With over 45,000 superchargers globally, Tesla strategically locates them near amenities such as hotels, restaurants, and shopping areas, ensuring convenience for EV owners. For me, nearly 100% of my charging happens at home overnight while I sleep. I wake up to a fully charged vehicle every morning without needing to take time out of my schedule for charging during regular driving hours. It's as simple as plugging in my charger, which takes a mere few seconds, and I'm done. This hassle-free charging routine makes owning an EV incredibly convenient. During road trips, Tesla superchargers come to the rescue. These charging stations provide significantly faster charging speeds compared to home charging. When traveling long distances, I typically stop and charge for about 15 to 25 minutes every few hours. This allows me to rest, grab a bite to eat, or use the restroom while my vehicle is rapidly replenishing its energy. Thanks to Tesla's extensive supercharging network, my range anxiety becomes a thing of the past. Now let's put this into perspective. The vast majority of Americans drive approximately 40 miles per day for their daily commute, according to the U.S. Department of Transportation. Even the shortest range electric vehicles on the market today can travel over three times that distance before needing to be recharged. For instance, the Nissan LEAF boasts a range of 149 to 212 miles, while the Kia EV6 and the Ford Mustang Mach-E offer an impressive 310 miles on a single charge. Now turning our attention to Tesla's lineup, the Model Y provides a range of 330 miles, and the Model S takes it even further with an impressive 405 miles of range. With these numbers in mind, it's evident that EVs offer more than enough range to cover your typical daily travel needs, eliminating any concerns about range anxiety, especially when it comes to Tesla vehicles. Myth number seven, Teslas are dangerous. Teslas have often faced criticism due to their status as newcomers in the automotive industry. As electric cars become more prevalent, people tend to associate new technology with potential danger. However, it's crucial to understand that while electric motors are relatively new in the context of traditional cars, the underlying technology behind them has been extensively tested and proven. One of the reasons Teslas are perceived as dangerous is a lack of understanding regarding the technology that powers them. Take Autopilot for example. Tesla developed Autopilot as a safety measure to prevent accidents caused by human error. Unfortunately, the public's misconception and misuse of Autopilot have contributed to its misunderstanding. In reality, Tesla's Autopilot, along with the other safety features integrated into their vehicles, has demonstrated remarkable results in reducing car accidents. According to Tesla's Q4 2022 safety report, there was only one accident for every 4.85 million miles driven in a Tesla. In contrast, data from NHTSA revealed that there was one car accident for every 652,000 miles driven in non-Tesla vehicles. This means that Tesla vehicles are nearly eight times safer than other cars on the road. Looking at the previous quarter, Tesla recorded an accident for every 6.26 million miles driven, while NHTSA reported one accident for every 652,000 miles. For this quarter, Teslas were nearly 10 times safer than other cars on the road. The impressive safety record of Teslas has been validated by NHTSA, which has awarded all Tesla models a 5-star overall safety rating. In fact, Teslas have consistently achieved top safety ratings. If you found this video informative and enjoyed diving into the truth behind these myths and misconceptions, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences with electric vehicles in the comment section below. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.